Well, gentlemen, I hope you have not neglected your practice of fencing and marksmanship. The Liberal government in Canada wants to make dueling legal. Bet you didn't see that one coming, Merica. But it's not actually that simple. Nothing in life ever is. So don't run out to slap your boss across the face with a glove quite yet. The legislation change is proposed, but it's not in effect yet. Although, depending on when in the future you watch this video, it might be. But as of the recording, it's not yet. What they want to change in particular is Section 71 of the Criminal Code, which says that everyone who a challenges or attempts by any means to provoke another person to fight a duel, b attempts to provoke a person to challenge another person to fight a duel, or c accepts a challenge to fight a duel, is guilty of an addictable offense and liable to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years. There are still other laws in place that prevent you from randomly slaughtering people, so it's still not actually practically legal to challenge people to lethal duels. You do have other options, though. I mean, you can challenge them to a nerf battle or, <laughs> you know, a sword duel with padded swords or blunted practice swords with appropriate equipment and all that. There, there are ways. I mean, you can go to a boxing gym, for example, if you have a serious quarrel with somebody and want to settle that in such a way. There are options. You just, just can't kill or maim each other. So even after the legislation is changed, you won't be able to legally pop someone in the face at high noon because they said the PS4 is better than the Xbox One or something like that. And uh, you also have to keep in mind the historical context. You know, even judicial duels were a bureaucratic nightmare and private duels were actually outlawed most of the time. Uh, even though exceptions were made and noble duelists were often pardoned after the fact, even though it was socially legitimate for the most part to challenge people over issues of honor, it was not technically legal. I'm, by the way, talking about European dueling culture between the, the 16th and the 19th century. And um, so sometimes people say that society overall would be more polite and nobody would be as easily offended if dueling was legitimate and common. But if you actually look at the historical background, the answer is no. That's not, you can't really say that. In fact, you may argue that gentlemen in historical times were easier to offend than people nowadays, or at least it often seems so. To give you a few examples, as late as 1870, the French painter Edward Manet challenged his friend Edmund Duranty to a sword duel. Why? Because he hadn't praised his art highly enough. Yeah, it was over artists' pride. Then there's the so-called Petticoat Duel of 1792, where Lady Almeria Braddock challenged Mrs. Elphinstone to a duel with pistols and swords because she said Braddock looked older than she claimed. You just don't mess with a lady's age. So in 1765, Lord William Byron killed his cousin William Chaworth in a sword duel because of an argument over whose estate held more game birds. How dare you dispute the number of my birds, sir? I am deeply offended. There were lots of social norms and rules that would make gentlemen feel obligated to challenge somebody to a duel. For example, if somebody would accuse you of something and it's a lie, they have no proof for it, then you have to challenge them to a duel unless you want to forfeit your honor, which many people consider to be worse than death. And the problem is you even had ridiculous situations. For example, if two buddies were walking on the street and one said something derogatory about the other as a joke, and you know, a passerby heard that, they might insist that he has insulted you, you need to challenge him right now. And then the other person would be obligated to challenge his good friend who didn't want to offend him, and they would have to fight to the death potentially. I mean, duels didn't always result in death. In fact, it was expected of the seconds, which would be the friends of the the duelists to intervene and and try to negotiate and you know call off the duel but 
didn't always work and uh, sometimes they had to fight either until first blood or until one of them was no longer capable of fighting or until one of them died which of course still means not being able <laughs> capable of fighting anymore um, unless there's a necromancer around either way so uh, by the way I have a video about that topic about some of the rules of dueling which will be linked down below my friend William and I also did some simulated du pistol duels again that will be linked in the video description so even though it might seem like common sense to assume that when the threat of possibly lethal duels is looming over people's heads they would be maybe a little less prone to insult each other but you also have to think of especially in peacetime there were many hot-blooded noblemen who just got bored and would start fights simply for amusement or to prove themselves and in fact during under Henry the fourth of France uh, supposedly as much as a third of the French nobility died in duels uh, this was also one of the reasons why duels were outlawed because too many people died off so it was a, a severe problem and as I said sometimes people would even get into this situation where they're expected to do a duel even though they really don't want to and they wouldn't otherwise you know as much as I enjoy collecting swords and firearms and practice historical martial arts I do not think bringing back duels would be a good idea unless it's in a more benign form where people can just you know have whatever paintball duels and nerf battles and all of that but you know you already can there's nothing preventing you from doing that as long as there is no actual physical injury and death involved and you can do whatever the heck you like so we don't really particularly need a dueling culture as such anyway if you want to learn more about historical dueling i'm going to put a few book recommendations in the video description among them this one right here historical european martial arts in its context by Richard Marsden this is a really good book I've been reading that lately and I could highly recommend that there is a lot of information about dueling I'm not going to show you much of the book right now but uh, it's certainly worth picking up and if you want to see demonstrations and explanations of historical martial arts which I do occasionally but not all the time and you can go to the blood and iron channel which will also be linked down below so there are very capable instructors who go through certain techniques and show how this is done it's really good material for basic introductions and also more advanced stuff so either way I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching also check out my Twitter page and Facebook and I also have a gaming channel by the way in case you don't know which you probably don't again it's all down there